it's not about necessarily an arrival to a place, but it's about the journey to a place. And I've just been getting like this, like push to get more out of me and sharing more and get rid of the extraness that I keep trying to do it with. When God is like, I didn't tell you you needed to have X, Y, and Z to do what I'm calling you to do. You already have everything you need. So just do it. So here I am just doing it. I feel like we need a private place for us to be able to congregate and share what's on our hearts and on our minds and not feel like if I comment, everybody's gonna see my comment that I don't necessarily want to see. But when I feel like I'm invited into a conversation and it's something that's speaking directly to me, I definitely feel inclined to comment. After putting out Becoming Her and getting so many messages from y'all and so many, just like so much feedback. And then I also led a women's Bible study like last month and it was so beautiful. Like it was beautiful to one, even be thought of to lead a group of women in a Bible study using a devotional that I wrote like that alone is just like what who am i but at the same time i was so energized by being able to actually interact with uh. people in a real way and answer questions and also hear your stories and connect with y'all or them really in a whole different way and a few different girls came up to me afterwards and were just asking like hey can we like do this again can we meet up? Can we have like a small group? Can we do something where we can regularly, you know, participate with you and connect and grow? And God had already been trying to put it on my heart to do something um, community related, but I kept just, I don't know. I didn't want to like label or like do something without knowing that it was what he wanted me to do for sure. Cause I also am like, I'm terrible with, consistency it's just hard i have three little kids like it's hard for me to like say i'm gonna be somewhere you know this time every week you know like clockwork like that's difficult for me but i think god is calling me to challenge myself in that area so i've decided to start a private community the becoming her sisterhood I want to create a safe place where you don't have to like give anything to get in because none of us have to give anything in order to receive the free gift of salvation. So at this point, that's all I got. I'm just gonna start this little Facebook community and you can join now. Um, I'm gonna be launching another devotional very, very soon. So I wanted to make sure that I kind of gave y'all a heads up. If you haven't already gotten your hands on the Becoming Her original devotional, uh, you can click the link in my description box and you know download it directly and kind of like go through it. I've got so many of you all already in that um, in that devotional, so I'm excited to essentially give y'all another one because God has put a whole nother devotion on my heart that I've been working on for y'all to share. And I think you're really gonna enjoy it because it's blessed me even just putting it together because honestly, he gave me the unction to do it. And then when I started, or I was kind of like thinking of like the way I was gonna approach it, I was feeling like, ugh, like I don't even have this right now. <laughs> like I don't even encompass what you're telling me to tell them to encompass. So how is this gonna work out? And as I've been writing the devotional, I've learned so much. And it's not about necessarily an arrival to a place, but it's about the journey to a place. If it's a journey for me, then it's got to be a journey for some of y'all too. Definitely join the private Facebook group. Link is down below. It's the Becoming Her Sisterhood. And if you want to get the new devotional first, definitely go join that group. Everybody who got the Becoming Her devotional already 
you're already in my email list. So you will also receive the new devotional first. Okay, this big, this my other baby wanted to come sit. Um, you'll get the new devotional first as well uh, before I release it publicly. To just give y'all a little, you know, kind of insight on what to expect out of the sisterhood. It's going to be just kind of daily encouragement. I'm going to be planning to do some Bible studies. Yes, I'm going to be leading y'all in some Bible studies. Um, I've been working on that kind of already. But yeah, mainly I just want y'all to have a place to connect with each other. Like it's not just about me connecting with y'all, but it's about y'all being able to connect together as well because that's how you really appreciate true community. And this community is not about me. It's not about me. It's about the Father. It's about us understanding our role as daughters of the Most High and just having a place to be able to like bounce things off of each other, ask each other for advice, like encourage one another, edify one another, like walk with one another and maybe even meet up and do in-person stuff, you know? That's my my goal is to essentially just build a really beautiful sisterhood that anyone can join. Everyone is accepted. Everyone is welcomed. And our only goal is to grow our faith, to be surrounded by women of God, and to be the daughters, the wives, the sisters, the mothers, that God has called us to be and we need help in that. I knew no, I I needed help with that, okay? Um so I want to help y'all with that too. And I know so many of y'all can help each other and help me, child, cuz I don't know everything, okay? But I'm definitely the type where I've never been afraid to lead the crowd, but I definitely appreciate when the crowd also leads me, you know? So yeah, join the Facebook group. I can't wait to get in there and start chatting with y'all. And yeah, I love y'all and can't wait. Can't wait to see what we accomplish together, how we grow together and stay tuned for that Bible devotional coming out very, very soon.